Hey there, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna do a little fishing and camping here on the North Fork of the Yuba. See it behind me, down there. We've never fished this river, so we're gonna check it out, see if we find any fish. We're gonna camp for a night and then fish today and tomorrow. So to go over my rig, I've got nine foot five weight. The indicator fishing today. So I've got a seven and a half foot uh, tapered 4x leader down to a little white indicator oros indicator down to a little micro swivel about an arm's length of 4x tippet down to a single split shot bit of focus there and then about a foot of tippet to a little it's like a little hairs here nymphi tide and then about maybe another 14 inches to a little ant, like a sunken ant fly. So I'm gonna fish that and uh, see how we do. I made it to the water. I'm gonna let my dad fish this pool. I'm gonna head up here and fish up here. See if I can get something. Looks like there might be a midge hatch of some sorts. This, oh, okay, here we go. A lot of golden stonefly shucks right here. Maybe I should have put on a stonefly, but you know, my hair's ears, about size 14. These stoneflies are pretty small. I think you can imitate them fine. All right, I'm gonna start fishing here. I also have a sunken ant on. It's something I, I don't usually do, just because I'm not very confident with it, but I'm gonna try fishing that a lot this year. I already have, and it's worked pretty well. Of course, all on days when I didn't bring my, you know, GoPro, so y'all won't believe me, but Let's see if I can get something in here. I heard the Yuba is mostly smaller fish, or at least the North Fork of the Yuba. When you're fishing, always start close to you first. Don't always, don't immediately cast out there. Because oftentimes the fish will be sitting right here. You won't even know it. Whoa! See? So, some, sometimes when the indicator goes down, it just goes down so suddenly. How could it be a rock? It looks so clear, so you think it's pretty shallow, but it's not. There's gotta be fish in here. It just looks too good. There's a fish. Oh, I had a fish on. I had a fish. I don't know, it could have been a stock fish, but that was that was a fish. There's another one. Fish. All right. Nice. I knew there's gotta be fish in here. It's a stocked rainbow. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Okay, come here. Bro, <laughs> stop. Oh my gosh, he's going all over the place. Dude, stop. I just, I'm gonna net you and let you go. Oh, now he's going out there, okay. Stop, please. Stop. Oh no, it's wild. I caught a wild fish. No way. That's actually, I didn't know they were this big over here. I was always told they were, they were small. What the heck? Wow. I was told they were small down here. Huh. Okay, hold on, buddy. They're in here. All right. There we go. Biggest rainbow of the year right there. Nice. That dude. All right. I saw something as I was coming down here. We got a new spot. We're gonna have to stay about a half hour. Um, so we have enough light and saw something wriggle into the water and oh, a little Sierra and garter snake. Look at that. I think what's kind of cool is usually these guys are more of a grayish green, but these rocks are so red. He has, he's just naturally red. Look at him. I love these guys. So red, so weird. Now he's musking all over me. All right, all right, buddy. 
We'll leave you in your little pool. Probably looking for minnows. Now my hands smell like garter snake musk. That's great. All right. This looks pretty deep, but I'm going to try my rig without any changes um, for now. And if I do, I'm not getting any hits, I'm not hitting bottom, then I'm going to um, either, yeah, I'm going to just <clears throat> lengthen my tippet. And there's a fish. Got one! There's a little rainbow. All right. Nice little guy. Now don't, I hope that rod doesn't go off into, oh, uh-oh, and he just popped up. Okay. Did he just break my fly off? I think he just broke my fly, no. Okay, he took the, took the ant. All right. Well, uh, we had fun, hooked a lot of fish. I think we landed only a couple each, but we're definitely we're gonna be back tomorrow because we're camping here. Saw some fish hitting dry, so hopefully we can get those in the morning and uh, see you when we're at the campsite. Want me to net him? They're in here, just can't get to them. I, I hope there's more of those big ones. Yep, speaking of which. I got one, little guy. All right, I had to fish closer in. There we go, we got a tiny little fish. Not, definitely not as big as that last one I hooked. Come on, there we go. Little, what is that, a 10 incher? Okay, stop moving around, stop it, stop it. What did he eat? Uh, don't know what he ate. You know what, does it really matter? You're getting all tangled, dude. You're, you're getting all tangled. Stop, no. That was a, re I released it. I got in the net, it's fine. I released it. It's, it, it counts. Beautiful, caught a rock. Awesome. At least I'm getting deep enough. <sighs> and then there. There's a fish. Yep. Not very big. No, never mind. He's actually pretty good sized. He is pulling quite hard. Okay, let me just reel up to you. I guess the big ones are near the campground. Not as big as that other one, but still. Ah, okay. Oh, there he goes. Come back. You're not big enough to pull drag. Yeah, no, you're not big enough to pull drag. Come on. Dude, come here. No, no. Come back here, please. Please, it would be so nice if I could land you. Come here. Come on. Looks like he ate the drumstick, the green bead. Okay. 
dude, man, these rainbows are so, wow. He's not even that big. Come on. You don't. I, I just want to like, I haven't even foul hooked him. He's just like, all right. That's a nice 12, 13 incher. My GoPro died, but we caught a whole bunch of stalkers, including one little uh, wild one. And yeah, we're just in the town of Downeyville and we're gonna go eat lunch, pack up campsite, and head out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. It feels so awkward saying that. And uh, see you in another video.